The Washington Commanders just got absolutely fleeced. A third round pick for Chase Young. Are you kidding me? I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan. I would love to trade away a second and a third round pick for Chase Young. That would be amazing. Are you kidding me? A third round pick, Commanders. And you trade away Montez Sweat for even more than that to the Bears. Like a second and a fifth, I believe. If I'm wrong in that, don't come at me in the comments. And also, you, you fleeced for Christian McCaffrey. He's been an amazing part of your offense. This Niners team is amazing at fleecing people like Niners fans are eating here and for Niners fans saying oh well, why do the Niners need a rebuild you know like we're a Super Bowl caliber caliber team for like the past couple years it's like yeah but you like you never really quite make it there you love losing in the conference championship so I am here to fix that with coach Kyle Shanahan and of, of course Chase Young what an amazing trade deadline for the Niners I mean the Bears improved even like it's absolutely ridiculous how the commanders just gutted themselves so if you're a commanders fan it's been a rough it's been a rough couple of years with the name change football team commanders now you're giving away pick number two in the draft for uh, a bag of potato chips but let's look at the rest of the team but if you guys are enjoying the rebuilds make sure you like and or subscribe we are getting very close to 10,000 subscribers and if you guys are enjoying this series let's see if we can hit 60 likes on this video i would appreciate that but anyways let's get back to the video for the rest of the team, Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey is in 99, Elijah Mitchell, Debo Samuel is currently injured, but it's fine. We're playing at the start of the season. Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, terrible offensive line here other than Trent Williams. So if Trent Williams gets hurt, it's over. Fred Warner, uh, Giam is it Jair Brown or something? Yeah, Jair Brown out of Penn State is going to be the starter over our current free safety, which is Travis Gibson Jr. Chardavious, Char Chardarius Ward, or is it Chardarius? Charvarius Ward. My bad. And then, of course, for the rest of the defense, Nick Bosa, Randy Gregory, the new addition, Javon Hargrave, Eric Armstead, Chase Young, of course, Fred Warner's beast, Trey Greenlaw, Hufunga. I love Hufunga. And then Lenore, I believe is how you pronounce that. The team is so good. Like, there, there's nothing to improve except the team capitalizing in the conference championship. Eagles are your biggest threat. The big thing about the Eagles is their D-line is stacked. You just match that. The weak thing about the Eagles is their linebacking core. You got a better core than them. Their DBs, they got Darius Slay, of course, but Chardavius Ward has been doing great. They got Hufunga, and of course, the Eagles just got Kevin Byard. So it's really just the race for the Eagles and the Niners in this upcoming Super Bowl. But we're going to see if we can capitalize on this for sure. But man, the Niners just turn off cap room, I swear. And we're going to have to pay Chase Young pretty soon. So we're going to have to deal with this cap room. But anyways, let's move in into the midseason mark. We are 6-1 and one at the midseason mark in real life, of course. I should have just forced the wins, but you know, it's Madden. And this is how it would have gone if it's the start of the season. Seahawks are 1-5. Rough time for the Seahawks here. We have trade offers for who, actually? Defensive tackle Givens? Who is that? Cleveland Farrell? Absolutely. I would love to see the offers for this terrible player. Monty Oruarie, Zach Moss on the Seahawks now. I guess they traded him away. Well, the AI did. Antonio Gibson don't need. Deion Jones wouldn't be bad depth, I guess. Man, these are just crummy offers, but it's a crummy player. Malcolm Rodriguez in a six and a seven from the Lions? Absolutely, I'll take that for Cleveland Farrell. I'll take that any day. Malcolm Rodriguez, young. I don't have to pay him. Star Dev. Oh yeah, Givens. Let's see what we got for him as well. Givens. You no, know, it's like, oh, that was so unrealistic. I don't care. The AI offered it to me. David Long, 26 years old, 79 overall for Givens. Sure. That works for me perfectly. That works for me. I saw Kenneth Murray on the Chargers. I don't care. This is, that is a lot better. I like that a lot better. And uh, we're going to see what we got for the team now. Let's refresh this roster. Yes, the O-line didn't necessarily improve. And Brandon Ayuk is a higher overall than Debo Samuel now. Honestly, Ayuk, I know people are going to yell at me for this because it's in the middle of the video and I should have done it at the beginning. Ayuk's getting superstar dev. Ayuk has been quietly outperforming Debo Samuel for the past two years and nobody has really recognized it until this year. So Ayuk 100% getting superstar. Malcolm Rodriguez is going to be the right outside linebacker. I'm going to officially move Dre Greenlaw, the left outside linebacker. And I know we're six and one and you're going to be like, oh, why would you change the team at this stage in the season? It's kind of a dumb thing to do. I don't care. I think, I think the team is a lot better this way. Maybe I should get another depth defensive tackle here. I think that would probably be better for the team because I did just give up a 75 overall defensive tackle. I would like to sign a new one because depth for defensive tackle does really, really matter in Madden. And really, Chris Harris Jr. is here. That's kind of crazy. Sure, Henry Anderson, a guy who I'm not going to resign. I just need you as depth. Please join the team. And yeah, 
Apart from that, guys, we're going to get into the contract re-signings. Uh, the Vikings are getting blown out 28 to nothing. The Vikings are awful, like awful in simulation. Their playbooks are just straight garbage. But this is what we got for the team. Uh, Henry Anderson is going to be the new depth defensive tackle. Jair Brown back to free safety specialist. I want to make sure everything's good here. Ayuk's playing slot and receiver one. All right, then. <laughs> Jair Brown is playing slot as well. That's kind of interesting. Cut one player. Gonna have to cut. Sure, I'll cut you. And apart from that, that was a lot at the beginning, but sure. Cleveland Farrell from Malcolm Rodriguez. I'll take that any day of the week. What do we got? More steals for the san francisco 49ers offensive line needs to be the priority right now that's the only thing that we really need on this team so i'm going to scout the offensive lineman of course and of course trent williams may retire in the simulation he usually always does what do we got juan jennings don't need negative 41 million ray ray mcleod i'm just looking at who i'm losing here i'm looking at who i'm losing negative 41 million i have no idea how i was able to sign that defensive tackle but juan jennings ray ray mcleod nothing too important here Probably going to have to accept a Chase Young's 50 year option, but we're screwed on cap. We need a win like now. Let's move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the, not the San Francisco 49ers. I was about to say that. The Los Angeles Rams at SoFi Stadium. I just saw the Chargers and Bears game at SoFi Stadium literally this week. It was awesome to be in that stadium, but at the same time, nobody cares. Here to face the 10 and 7 Carolina Panthers. So I guess Bryce Young is balling out in simulation. Look at the rest of our division. It sucks, dude. It's awful, but that's fine with me. More, uh, more wins for us. Brock Purdy. That's like league MVP, bro. Oh, come on. Purdy for three. Oh, Dak Prescott's above him. Yeah, sure, bud. Throws two interceptions a game. Best offense in the NFL. Best defense in the NFL. 4,200 yards, 41 touchdowns, 12 interceptions is probably the reason why. But still, he wouldn't, he wouldn't throw that many in real life. But at the same time, he wouldn't have 41 touchdowns and 4,200 yards in real life. 111 passer rating. Christian McCaffrey, 15 touchdowns, 5.6 per carry. 1,700 yards is great. Brandon Ayuk, 1,400 yards, 16 touchdowns. That's going to be an X factor. Debo, not a good season for being an X factor. Juwan Jennings, solid season. George Kittle, not a good season for being an X factor. We're in the Dallas playbook, but it should still target the tight end. Christian McCaffrey, four touchdowns, 249 receiving yards. It would be a lot more in real life. Dre Greenlaw, 99 tackles, tackles for a loss, 18 for Chase Young. The new addition, sacks, 17 and a half for Nick Bosa, and uh, eight for Javon Hargrave. And interceptions, five for Chardavius Ward, two for Dre Greenlaw. Safeties on the team is going to be one for Javon Hargrave, zero defensive touchdowns. Javon Hargrave actually did pretty good this year. I'd be really upset to lose Bryce Young in this first round. It's it's Bryce Young, dude, please. He's not doing good in real life. Thank you. 28-20, here to face the 10-7 Minnesota Vikings, who we blew out, keep in mind. And of course, Kirko, Madden never updates their game. So Kirko will be playing in this game, even though he is out for the season. It's Madden. They never update their game. We're going to beat them. 36-14 here to face Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Absolutely not. I'm not losing to Dak Prescott in simulation. Yeah. Remember what happened last time the Niners played the Cowboys? Yeah. 42-10, 42-17. Yeah. 42-10. Absolute blowout. Let's, let's repeat that. Here we are against the Dallas Cowboys. It's stupid that they get the home field advantage over us. Number one offense and number one defense versus the Cowboys. Huge run by McCaffrey. 14-14, 21-14. It's going to be 21-17 at halftime. 28-17, 35-17. Yeah. Here comes the blowout. I mean, at least the Cowboys scored more points than they did last time. 48-24, 48-30 is going to be your final score as the San Francisco 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. Chase Young went to bed with the worst player facilities rank in the NFL. Like they were ranked the last in terms of player facility and woke up to be a Super Bowl contender. Here to face Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs in the Super Bowl. If Stephon Diggs loses here today, he's going to throw a baby fit like he always does in real life. Purdy gets superstar dev. Ayuk is an X factor. No surprise. Purdy getting superstar dev is awesome for this long-term rebuild because keep in mind, you may be like, oh, this is a quick rebuild. We're already in the Super Bowl. I have negative 41 million, bro. I cannot afford to sign anyone else. Chase Young gets back to X Factor like he was a couple years ago. Jair Brown gets superstar dev. Chardavius Ward gets superstar dev as well. This team is so stacked so stacked but again the problem is i can't afford to sign anybody i cannot and i can't afford to pay brock purdy either i'm probably gonna end up losing him he's still on a rookie deal but we gotta win and we gotta win now against the bills so let's move into it here we are against the buffalo bills a zero zero start for both teams very defensive game seven nothing as the bills strike first 
Come on, start acting like the number one offense, please. We get our first three points in the third quarter. We haven't even scored a touchdown. We're in the fourth quarter, 14 to seven, 13 to 14. What, did they not get their extra points? I mean, I guess we blocked it. Third down alerts, fourth down, and we get the ball back and that's game, 14, 13. What an awful performance by the offenses. And of course, Stefan Diggs is gonna be standing there with his hand on his hips and yelling at the kicker, but hey, the San Francisco 49ers win the Super Bowl. Make sure you like and or subscribe. The video is not over yet. We got to see how this team pans out with negative 41 million. This is not going to be a Super Bowl team for very long. You got to pay out a lot of people. Super stack team. I think the Niners probably will win the Super Bowl this year. Amazing team. Amazing run. And Chase Young goes to bed a loser. Wakes up a Super Bowl champion. Why is the dude on his iPhone right now? Enjoy the Super Bowl trophy as the Buffalo Bills fall to 0-5 in the Super Bowl. Let's, who, let's see who the Super Bowl MVP is. Your Super Bowl MVP is the rookie Jair Brown. Lamar Jackson wins the league MVP. There are no other awards here for the san francisco 49ers we're gonna see the league retirements i'm assuming trent Bur trent williams would retire after this win nfc west and yeah trent williams does retire we desperately need some offensive linemen but that does clear a lot of cap for us so it's kind of good and bad but we're still negative 25 million team ranks are stacked but let's see the resign players for the resign players we're just looking at who we're losing Jawan jennings ray ray mcleod sam darnold charlie warner i don't i don't even know who that is Everyone else here, don't care about negative 26 million. Man, we we uh, we got a long road ahead of us. Let's get past free agency and get to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up our new left tackle of the future, Jake Mitchell out of Oklahoma, 6'4", 328, hidden dev, 90 strength, not very fast, of course, don't need him to be. Great skills across the board. He's going to be the new franchise left tackle for Purdy and the Niners. Now, this is the team year number two. Obviously, the main difference is no left tackle, superstar 98 overall, Trent Williams. That's fine, though. We don't got to pay this guy, but we're still negative $25 million in debt. So, um, yeah, that's a little rough. I picked this guy up in the third round. Hayes, 72 overall as a depth defensive tackle. So that way I didn't have to sign one because I couldn't afford to sign one. But this is what we got for the team, man. I think it still looks great. Shouldn't have that much problem going back into the playoffs, Super Bowl. You know, it's Madden simulation, quite random. I want to see if we can beat the Cowboys week one because it's very frustrating whenever I don't. <laughs> I always just want to be the, beat the Cowboys because we should. We lose 28-10, but... You know, that's Madden for you. 0-1 start for the Niners as we're already third in the division, but let's move in to the midseason mark. 6-1, went on a six-game winning streak after the Cowboys' loss here. Scouting national focus, it still needs to be interior offensive line. The, the interior offensive line class was quite garbage. Left guard and right guard is weakness of the class. God, <laughs> I might as well just scout defensive tackle at this point just to get more depth there because defensive tackle is huge for simulation. Might as well just do it because why not? Coming off a 24-14 win against the San Francisco 49ers. Trade offers for Elijah Mitchell. No, not doing that. But um, $44 million here. Brandon Ayuk must have back. Five-year deal. Wants to be here. He stays. Chardavius Ward I want. Hufunga I want. Drake. I, I'm not going to be able to keep all of them. Elijah Mitchell, I'm just going to let his contract ride out. Still want him for the rest of the year. Lenore, I want. Chardavius Ward, I want. Dre Greenlaw, I want. I, Man, this is going to be a rough time. This is going to be a really rough time. Eric Armstead wouldn't be bad to keep back. Isaiah Oliver. Obviously, I can't have everyone. I want I want the DB, the, the younger DB, and he still wants more money. All right. So, uh, Hufunga is going to have to come back. I want Hufunga back. Dude. Dude, <laughs> they're being picky. I, I'm going to try to get Hufunga back. I'm going to sign the other DB. And then, I'm, do I sign the other DB? Okay, let's get Hufunga back. Let's sign Chardavius Warden. And I'm going to try to tag Dre Greenlaw and let these two guys go. David Long's going to have to walk as well. Man, this is where the this is where the crumble falls last year to really do something. Can we beat the Chiefs? We lost the Cowboys in week one. Another big team here. Can we beat the Chiefs? I want to see. And we do not. Two big teams. And that's where our two losses come from, which is not a good sign. But let's move into the playoffs. We finished four and 13, top of the division. Nobody else makes it in our division. Team ranks are stacked. Not a stack a lot as it last year. Coming off a win against Montez Sweat and the Chicago Bears. Stats and awards here. Let's see what we got. Brock Purdy balling out once again. It's not going to be league MVP, but uh, he's doing pretty good as long as he is above Dak. You know, always above that. 
Uh, I know it's like, oh, you're, you're such a typical Dak hater. No. Why is he cracked in Madden? He shouldn't be. Third best offense, second best defense, step back from last year, but still a great year. Almost 4,000 yards, 34 touchdowns, nine interceptions, 107 pass rating. Great year for Brock Purdy. Christian McCaffrey, only 11 touchdowns, but 4.8 per carry, 1,500 yards. Great year. Brent Ayuk, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, took a step back. Uh, Debo took a little bit more of a step up from last year, but still not playing on an X-Factor level, I would say. Danny Gray, don't even know who that is. And uh, George Kittle, underperforming. Christian McCaffrey should be getting way more receptions than just 26. Um, defensively, Fred Warner, 104 tackles, tackles for a loss, 19 for Nick Bosa, sacks, 14 for Chase Young is amazing, 11 half for Nick Bosa, 9 for Eric Armstead, 8 for Javon Hargrave, and interception, 7 for Fred Warner. Dude's balling, I guess we don't need Dre Greenlaw, still kind of would love him. Eric Armstead, 1 safety, defensive tackle, 0. Niners fans, you got two years until this clock is up. You got two years to win this. Other than that, you guys are screwed. Let's see what we got here in the divisional. Please don't let me face the Cowboys, for the love of God. Please. Okay. Eight and nine New Orleans Saints. We're nine overalls higher. Anytime I mention that, I lose. This better not be a loss for us. Dude. Madden's just so stupid. Madden is so dumb. You can't ever do anything in Madden. It's so dumb. Either you play it and you have to hop in or your AI is just nine times out of 10, just brain dead. Let's move into the off season. And the Cowboys make it to the Super Bowl. But again, they lose this time to the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen wins the league MVP. Kyle Shanahan wins coach of the year. Doesn't matter, obviously. Chad Johnson for the Bears wins defensive rookie of the year. Defensive end. I don't know why I mentioned that, but still. 2024 retirements. NFC West. Let's see what we got here. Nobody in the NFC West. Bit surprising. Maybe thought Geno Smith or someone would like that would retire. Bobby Wagner is even on their team. Almost relocated the team by accident there. But let's see what we got here for the adjust lineup and uh, move on from there. But uh, Brock Purdy, now a superstar X Factor, is awesome. Mitchell is just a star. That's fine though. Deal with that. I don't have to pay him. Still need to revamp the O line. 90 overall team. Dre Greenlaw's superstar. That makes this so much harder. Uh, Fred Warner's a 99 overall. I'm pretty sure it was already like that. Chase Young's still a baller. Anything else? No. Probably going to need to draft a DB. Man, rough times. Rough times right now. But let's move into the re-signings. For the re-signings, only $15 million here. So I got to choose between Dre Greenlaw and Chardavius Award. Like, this is not a tough... This is like... This is a tough decision. $16 million for him. And it's $17 million for him. Can I even keep one of them? Because I want Hufunga back, and I could afford for Hufunga to come back, but I'm going to need to tag one of these guys, and if I already have Fred Warner, I can't lose both of my DBs. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose Tridavious Ward here. I know it seems like, oh, like, come on, man, it's Dre Greenlaw. I, I can't afford to lose both of my starting DBs here. Tank this contract. He wants to play for a new team. That's fine. Hufunga... Give him the player-friendly deal because he wouldn't accept it last time. He's excited to stay with the team. Negative 4.2 million. We tag Chardavius Ward. Go to negative 26 million. We're losing Dre Greenlaw. Our other DB, Elijah Mitchell, David Long, Eric Armstead, Isaiah Oliver. Losing a lot of key players here. Sucks, but it's what we have to do. Negative 20 million. Let's move in to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up defensive back Cedric Mays at Oklahoma. He was very athletic. Normal dev really blows, especially at this point in the rebuild. But 6'1", 191 at Oklahoma, 93 speed, 91 change of direction. A zone coverage, B press, B hit power. He looks solid. In the second round, I'm getting left outside linebacker, a.k.a. Dre Greenlaw's replacement, DeAndre McCree out of Georgia. 6'1", pass coverage, 230, hidden dev, 86 speed, 88 acceleration. Really not that great moves here, but honestly, he has really good athleticism. That's why I picked him, and he has hidden dev, so that's the important thing. And in the sixth round, I'm picking up a post-UDFA middle linebacker, Justin Parker out of Cincinnati. He just had great athleticism. Obviously, the skills aren't amazing. 6'3", 234, hidden dev, 89 speed, 89 acceleration. Obviously, the skills aren't crazy, but B awareness, B hit power, F pursuit is not good. B man coverage, field general archetype, 6'3", 234, nice build, great athleticism, post-UDFA, hidden dev, sixth round, works for me. This is the team, year number three. You can see the huge downfall in the team. Like, the O-line really hasn't improved at all. The classes have been so weak for offensive linemen. 
which really sucked for us. McCree, second round pick, 73 overall. Parker, post UDFA, six round pick. I'll take 66 hidden dev. Looks like the AI picked up this guy named Pope in the seventh round. Cedric Mays is a 76 normal dev, which isn't bad, but it isn't necessarily good either. I'm gonna move up Jackson on this depth chart, so that way we have better defensive tackles here. Javon Hargrave, man. Unfortunate team. It's unfortunate this downfall right here. McCree, McCree is not that bad. Randy Gregory, how much money does this dude take up on this team? He takes up 14 milli off the team immediately. I wish I knew that sooner. We could have kept the other DB if I knew that. God, that sucks. I really wish I knew that a lot earlier than I did now. Man, that really held us back. But still, we're like like negative 20 million in cap room. I still probably would have been able to get the other DB. Really sucks, but the downfall of the Niners is here. Let's move into the midseason mark. Once again, 6-1 midseason mark, coming off a 20-7 win against the Panthers. Cardinals are 4-3, 83 overall team. They're not that bad anymore, I guess. But did trade away the main man, Josh Dobbs, because Kyler's coming back, I guess. But still, let's see what we got. What do I want now? Do I go DB again? It's not bad depth. It's the top strength of the class. I wouldn't mind going DB again. Offense isn't something I have to worry about other than Brock Purdy. Yeah, I'm going to have to pay him. Is, is he at the top here? Yeah. Chase Young. Did I not get a fifth year option for him? What? Chase Young. Fifth year. He's, he's in the year five. I didn't even accept this fifth year option. I guess they just gave it to me. Debo just doesn't even want to be here, which is a problem. He doesn't like the scheme. fit. I'm not changing it, dude. I'm not, I'm not changing it. Gotta have McCaffrey. Oh my God. We're screwed. McCaffrey's first on the list. I'm not gonna lie. McCaffrey is first on this, on this list. He resigns. Purdy, I need my X Factor QB. He's second on the list. He resigns. Chase Young. I already have Nick Bosa. I need to prioritize someone here. George Kittle hasn't been doing jack for me, so I'll wait on him. Um, Shardavius Ward, need my DB. Four year deal. He resigns. Debo, I already have Ayuk, but it's like, I, w I want him back. George Kittle hasn't done shit for me. We're going to wait. Um, nobody else. Ugh, man. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Let's see what we got. I I'll take Malcolm Rodriguez since it's cheap. Just get it out of the way. It's like, oh, you're giving Malcolm Rodriguez a, a contract before Debo and George? Yes, I am. Chase Young, give him the contract. I'll take, I'll prioritize him. We're going to keep Chase Young. Debo... D Debo and George, Debo hasn't even broke a thousand yards. Neither has George Kittle. Neither of these guys have had a thousand yards or uh, double digit touchdowns. It's like, oh, it's the scheme you're in. The scheme I'm in is winning. So I'm not going to change my scheme. But George Kittle won't be able to afford him. I could probably tag one of these two. I'll probably tag Debo over George since George has averaged me like six touchdowns and 500 yards a game. But my scheme's winning. I'm not going to change it. So let's move in to the playoffs. 16 and 1 undefeated streak going here coming off a win to the 17 17 to 10 against the eagles our defensive passing him is 25th i never know how to fix that in madden i never know like my defensive passing him really shouldn't be that bad pretty another amazing season it's not gonna be mvp but it's gonna be top three again second best offense in the nfl 119 pass rating probably little interceptions for him <coughs> six best defense should be one but uh pretty 37 touchdowns, only three interceptions, 4,100 yards, amazing season, 119 passer rating. Chris McCaffrey, 22 touchdowns, 5.4 carry, 1,800 yards, amazing season, but he was eaten. Almost 350 attempts. Purdy with 100 rushing attempts, three rushing touchdowns, bro's moving. All right. Debo, as I say, he's done nothing for us. Six touchdowns, uh, 1,100 yards, Ayuk, 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. Gray getting 10 touchdowns. Gray is outperforming Kittle. Getting more receptions, more yards, more touchdowns. I'm signing, I'm tagging Debo over Kittle. <laughs> it's final. And defensively, Fred Warner, 116 tackles, tackles for a loss, 12 for Javon Hargrave, sacks 18 for Nick Bosa, 10 for Chase Young, 5.5 for Hargrave, interceptions 2 for DeAndre McCree, the rookie, 2 for Hufunga. Really not that many interceptions on the year, which is a little bit disappointing, but still, safety 0, defensive touchdowns is 0. So an amazing team. One loss. 16 and 1. Can't wait to lose into the divisional round. Only negative 5 million in cap room. I know you're saying, oh, only negative 5 million dollars in debt. But yeah, that's good for us. Bijan's a 98 overall superstar. I'm surprised. I thought Bijan would come with like an X factor or something. But we are going to beat 
The Atlanta Falcons, 35-21, here to face the 10-7 Minnesota Vikings. Their playbooks are trash in Madden, and I've already won a conference championship, so I'll skip it. We beat them 28-21. I have to get my revenge here on the Chiefs. The Niners fans need that revenge. I'm a Ravens fan, so I know you probably want that revenge too, but one, one team at a time, you know. <laughs> The uh, Chiefs are a 90 overall. We're an 89 overall. We're going to see the team upgrades. I'm going to hop into this one, see what we got, see if we can beat them. And Purdy, X Factor, of course, we already knew this. Yeah, no change on the offense. Defensively, hold up. Is Jake Moody a superstar? Did he seriously come with that? Dude's been missing kicks all year. I don't know what, what that's about. But defensively, haven't seen Parker's yet, but he's he went from a 66 to a 72. Huge upgrade. McCree is a superstar X Factor. Wow. What a pick by me, dude. And he uh, he got upgraded to X Factor. Okay, so he started as a superstar. Still an amazing pick by me. Yes, I'm glazing myself. Mays got nothing, which is a little bit unfortunate. Pope, 72. Still, like, this team is still building. We're still drafting superstar X Factor linebackers. Glad I, I'm not glad that we got rid of Dre Greenlaw, but I'm glad I chose Chardavius Ward over him because I needed these DBs, even though our DB is ranked 25th. Here to face the 13-4 Kansas City Chiefs as we wear 16-1. Let's move into it. Here we are against the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to start out with seven. We are going to start out with seven as well. They're going to respond with nothing. Same with us. Nobody's responding with anything. They finally scored back to back on us. Let's uh, actually move the ball offense. 28 to seven. Let's get this comeback. 14 to 28, 21, 28, 28 to 35. Let's get this comeback, I said. And I don't think it's going to happen here. 28 to 38. Sorry, 16 and one Niners are not going to be able to beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs own the Niners at this point. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl losses for the Niners versus Chiefs Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey, the more dominant tight end over George Kittle, wins the Super Bowl. But hey, two Super Bowl one runs in three years, a Super Bowl win. Nothing too much to complain about, Niners fans. Let's get to the Super Bowl MVP. Your Super Bowl MVP is Patrick Mahomes. Lamar Jackson wins the league MVP. Kyle Shanahan, once again, coach of the year. Chris McCaffrey, offensive player of the year. And, ooh, DeAndre McCree gets the rookie of the year. Wanted Mays to get it, but McCree being an X-Factor is amazing. We've already seen the team upgrades. Only, only, almost, one, negative one million in debt. W mans right here. NFC West, Brandon Graham, uh, Jimmy Ward, and Mitch Morse all retire. And apart from that, let's just move into the re-signings. For the re-signings, George Kittle, Debo Samuel, all these other guys. I'm going to tag Debo, even though he doesn't have an interest with our scheme. I don't care. Oh, can I do that? Um... We're going to find out. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Probably not since it's negative 74. If I spread out the contract and just dump this contract almost completely, I don't think I'm going to make it. I think we're just going to be just short of getting Debo. And yeah, that's actually, exa yeah, that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. George Kittle, is this a possibility? I think it is with George Kittle, maybe. Is it? And if we lose both of them, that's like quite unfortunate. That'd be very, very unfortunate. I think we are going to end up losing both of them here. I mean, I definitely want a Debo over George Kittle. And I'm not going to be able to dump this contract far enough for me to do anything. Can I go down to zero for this? I can. And then this, I can't go any for lower than 1.2. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. We're going to lose Debo and George Kittle. Couldn't dump their contracts far enough for me to tag them. We don't have any money to spend in free agency, obviously. Let's move into the draft. In the first round, we're picking up the new replacement for Debo Samuel. Normal dev, though, 5'11", 206 out of Wisconsin, 92 speed, 93 acceleration. A stiff arm, A catching, A spec catch. Good athleticism, that's why I took him, but normal dev kind of sucks. But it's the fourth and final year, so why not? This is the team moving into the fourth and final season. Sorry, Brock Purdy, that you've had to have a trash offensive line your entire career in Madden Simulation, but I've already tested this theory. It does not matter if your offensive line is trash. The only point to having good offensive linemen in Simulation is to boost your team's overall, because what matters is your overall, your playbooks, and your schemes. So if, if the rest of your team is stacked, it doesn't matter. And we've definitely proved that in today's rebuild. Robertson is a 77 overall. Is this the guy that I picked? Yeah, it is out of Wisconsin. 77 is a great overall. Just normal dev kind of sucks, but 85 overall team. We started as an 87 to keep that in perspective, but um, yeah, nothing else we can really do about it. This is the team that we got rocking with the, with the fourth year. It's just money problems. We have a little bit more money now, so I wish I could have re-signed Debo or tagged him for this final year, but we're going to see how we do. 85 overall is definitely not a bad team. 91 defense, 81 offense. God, that's a difference. Let's move into the playoffs, not the midseason mark because it's the fourth and final year. 
And we finish 9 and 8 top of the division. Hey, at least we get home field advantage against the Cowboys. We have an 87 overall team. Doesn't matter. Offense is clearly more important than Madden than defense because we have a 92 overall defense and 83 overall offense. And super annoying. Super annoying. Coming off a win to the Washington Commanders. Hopefully we can beat the Cowboys. I just love doing it in Madden. Brock Purdy, another step back without Debo Samuel. 18th best offense. 25th defense? Sure, Madden. I have a 92 overall defense. Blow me. Brock Purdy, 3,700 yards, 30 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, 107 pass rating. McCaffrey, 14 touchdowns, 4.6 per carry, 1,300 yards. Ayuk, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Ronnie Bell, 9 touchdowns. Hey, man, Ronnie Bell. He's balling. He's doing better than Debo, honestly. Travis Robertson, not doing that well for a rookie, but still not a horrible season, I guess, for a rookie. DeAndre McCree, 99 tackles, ta uh, tackles for a loss, is 20 for Nick Bosa, sacks, 18 and a half for Chase Young. He's been balling this rebuild, 14 and a half for Nick Bosa. Interceptions, two for Fred Warner. Safeties on the team is zero. Defensive touchdowns is zero. So, anyways, apart from that, guys, let's see what we got here against the Dallas Cowboys. Please, can we just get a win, another win against the Cowboys? I hate playing them. And we do. 28-14 here to face the 13-4 Atlanta Falcons in the divisional round. Let's get this upset, even though we are the better team, but we're 9-8. In the conference championship, again, you have to face the 12-5 Philadelphia Eagles. They have an 83 overall defense. Man, that took a hit really quickly. Win the Super Bowl once again. The San Francisco 49ers, three Super Bowls in four years. Nothing to complain about here. 49ers fans as the Jacksonville Jaguars are 14 and 3. We're going to see if there is any team upgrades then go from there. Offensively, nothing. Defensively, doo -doo -doo, nothing. Great. Okay. But fourth and final year, here to face the Jacksonville Jaguars, you know, why not just get into it? Try to capitalize with the win here. See what we got against the Jaguars, of course, and move into it. Here we are against the Jacksonville Jaguars. 0-0 start, 7 nothing right now. Good stuff. Okay, 18th best offense and 25th best defense in the league right now in the Super Bowl against the Jaguars, 14-14 at halftime. We allowed a bomb pass right before halftime, which really sucks. 21-14, 28-14, fourth quarter. I don't need to jump in. 28-21. No way did you choke that that bad. And they're going to win. It's 20. Dude, they won by one point. They just beat us by one point. Can I nuke it and get like some pass interference or something? Can't believe this is how we're going to end the rebuild because of some because of some stupid comeback last minute they score two touchdowns get get a two-point conversion and beat us we lose we we go for three super bowls we win one in the first year lose two what a lame way to end the rebuild bro we lose to the jaguars off of some total bs the life of a niners fan rough days man rough days but hey Still a successful rebuild. You went to three Super Bowls. You made it to the playoffs all four years. You know, you're eating during the regular season. Not so much during the Super Bowl or the conference championship. But it is what it is. Chase Young, definitely a very successful year. Very successful career here with the Niners. Trevor Lawrence wins Super Bowl MVP. Dak Prescott wins league MVP. That will never happen. Oh, you're a Dak hater. I am. Anyways, Tyler Parks wins Rookie of the Year for the Commanders. No awards here for the San Francisco 49ers, but... Team's only going to go down from here. A bunch of players are just going to start retiring on this team. But anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching. Probably going to do a Monta Sweat Bears rebuild next. So let me know how hyped you are down in the comments below for that. And of course, make sure you like and or subscribe. Apart from that, guys, thank you guys all for watching once again. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.